Hi, my name is Jay Haskamp, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's sessions, we're going to move objects and create polylines in Trimble Business Center. So to accomplish this, we're going to first move an object that is in our way in a drawing file that we received. And to move this object, we're actually going to move it by a specified distance versus clicking and dragging it on the screen. And then once that object is moved out of our way, we're going to create a new polyline uh, run a quick check on it and then join it to an existing polyline to make one continuous polyline as our result. So let's take a look at how this works. Okay, in this particular project we have a, uh, a building pad here that is kind of over top of another one and this will just be kind of an example scenario but we, we need to move this out of the way and we want to basically complete this line out or complete this building pad. So the first thing we need to do is we need to move this this pad first and to do that we're going to go to the edit tab and we're going to choose move objects from the transform uh, menu group. Now in the move objects um, pane we can do a couple of things. First these three settings check boxes here um, for what we're going to do we're just going to make sure that they're um, unchecked because we're not worried about any of these settings at this moment and then um, so what we're going to be actually doing here is we're going to move this pad a specific uh, a distance without without clicking and dragging in the plan view what we're going to do that first is under the objects to move box we're first just going to select our pad and here you can see now we have one um, one object that we're going to move then we need to specify uh, some values in the from and to field. Now this could be as simple as just clicking and dragging and, and uh, moving it over, but here we have a specific distance that we want to move it, so I just want to show you how we can do that here. So from the from field, I'm just going to make this box active, and here I can basically just pick anywhere on the screen um, to be like a starting point or a reference point of where to where to move from. Now under the to box, I can move a specific distance by typing in the at symbol, and a negative 10, then a comma, at symbol 12. So what this means is when I pick apply, it's going to move the pad 10 feet to the west. So a negative is west, positive is east, and then it's going to move it 12 feet north. So north is positive, south is negative. So we're going to move it 10 feet west, 12 feet north from its current position. Now when I pick apply, we will see that the pad had updated based on the distances that we specified in the to field. Now we can click close because we're done moving the pad and now we're interested in creating the, uh, the, the polyline or basically to complete this polyline or to close it. So now the next thing we need to do is under the TBC ribbons up on top we want to choose CAD and then under lines we're going to choose create polyline and this this brings up the create polyline box. Now uh, none of these polylines are named so I'm not going to put a name in here but you can if you wish to and in the layer drop down list we have a layer in this drawing called pads and that's what all these building pad layers are on so I want that layer to be current so anything new that I draw is on that specific layer and then lastly we need to set the elevation field so in the plan view you can see that this pad is, has a finished floor elevation of 374.14 what I can actually do is pick the elevation box so it's active and then just pick the text here and notice it will extract that elevation right out of the text to elevate my line uh, to match the rest of the building pad also we have the automatically close by connecting ends we're just going to leave that set to never for this example and then under the method to add points, we're going to leave the option to specify individual points um, selected or current. Now what we need to do is down here in the next point field, uh, basically you want to uh, create our next uh, point or our point to start with. So what we're going to do is pick one of the broken um, endpoints of this line to start our new polyline. So if I pick in this next point and I move over here, now I'm going to hold my shift key on my keyboard down and right click and I'm going to choose end snap and now it's going to choose the end of my line to start with you can see we have that snap to the end point right there now, now under next point we're going to hit add points and in here we're going to right click and go down to intersection and then the intersection of segments snap is what we're going to choose from the uh, from the snap menu here and now you can see 
that it specifies line segment one and line segment two. So this snap will basically let us draw from the uh, from one of the existing segments endpoints to the point where it would intersect the other existing segments. So we're starting here and we're going to intersect it with this line here. So what I want to do is under line segment one, I want to pick one of the line segments and then under line string segment two, I'm going to pick the line segment that I have my my starting or my little endpoint from. And now you can see when I hit this line, it puts a little uh, a little target up here where it's going to snap it to. You see that? And when I pick that, it's going to extend the line out to that specific uh, intersection where this line intersects that line. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is click in the next point field again. And basically, we need to um, close this line. So if we pick in the next point field, hit Add Point, I'm going to hit Shift, right click, and choose End Snap to snap it to the end of that line and then I can hit close. So now what I have here is I have a polyline segment here and I have a polyline segment here. Now the first thing I want to do is basically make sure that this pad is at a 90 degree angle. So before we connect uh, these lines together we're gonna we're gonna just check the angle. So under the ribbons on the top we're gonna choose the CAD ribbon and then under measure if I hit this little down arrow here there's a measure angle and under measure angle we're basically picking the start point, the pivot point, and the end point to see what our angular measurement is going to be. So I'm going to uh, make the start point box active. I'm going to shift, right click, and choose end snap. Then I'm going to pick pivot point, shift, right click, end snap to pick my corner. And then under end point I'm going to shift, right click, end snap and choose the end of the line. And here you can see I have a 90 degree angle. So now I'm happy with that. I know that that angle is correct. So now basically all I need to do is just join these two lines uh, to make it one contiguous polyline. So under the Edit tab, under the Lines, I have a Join Lines command. And it says pick my baseline, which would be my polyline. Pick the line to join which would be this line. It's just giving me a, th a message saying the distance between the endpoints is zero. Um, no big deal. I'm fine with that. I'm going to pick OK. And now pick Close. And now if I deselect this and repick it, you can see now I have one um, specific uh, single line um, instead of two line segments. And that concludes our tech talk on moving objects and creating a polyline in Trimble Business Center. We hope you found this uh, beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.